Okay, hello. This is a continuation of my summary of my analysis of how the USA is starting a new Cold War with Russia. Alright, so today we're going to take a, a summary review of the conflict creating incidents that I had taught. Alright, it's just going to be a basic review with no detailed facts. Now, the following is a summary list of the many times the USA jacked Russia with attacks and threats to get Russia to react, and then used Russia's reaction to accuse them of aggression. Because 99.99999% of the masses have retained exactly zero facts and intelligence analysis, and because this is a long list, the know-nothing masses will all scream, Unbelievable! Crazy! Liar! USA! 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 All baseless crap that's just one word reality. The total reality is based on one word. No facts. No intelligent analysis. Now, I just finished teaching each of these in great detail. However, the masses will have retained exactly nothing. It will do no good to teach it all again because they will again retain nothing. They will never remember jack squat. So this is for really the rare person who is really sincere and honest and intelligent. That's rare indeed. So the only thing they will ever have in their heads is whatever simple, stupid, baseless line crap uh, is being passed around in social retard reality. Packaged in ten, a 10-second blurb written at the 4th grade level. That becomes the sole basis of their realities. In a chart below for each of the incidents, we will review whether or not Russia was initiating or reacting. Russia was being offensive or defensive. Russia was, or USA was initiating instigating and provoking this simplified summary review list will be attacked because one it contains none of the detailed facts and intelligent analysis I use to prove each you can't pack them all again it will take forever to teach it all again masses will not remember any of the facts and intelligent analysis even though I had just finished teaching each one of these in great detail this is only a summary chart in which I cannot reteach all the facts, which the masses will, will retain none of anyways. And never will retain anything. They won't. People believe whatever they want to believe based on nothing. Because that's what makes them feel good. And, quote, me feel good dominates their perceptions. <coughs> Lastly, to attack. The liars will manufacture a big, baseless social reality wave attack which the brainless masses will believe to be true based solely on the fact that it is a big, dumbass wave. They always fall for that. Just pass a new big wave. And that dominates their belief. Right? Because everyone is repeating it. But there's no facts or intelligent analysis. I've taught how baseless social reality is thousands and thousands of times, and the masses never learn. I swear, easily, it's many, it's multiple thousands of times. They will continue to fall for social retard reality forever. That will never change. I'm teaching it again right now. It will have no effect. Next big wave. Oh, there's big wave. That, that's reality. I won't say that. God. It's hopeless. Caveat. This is just a summary review list without any of the detailed facts and analysis I provided when I taught them. Right? I can't teach it all again. So what incident was Russia reacting or uh, initiating reacting? Was Russia offensive or defensive? Was USA instigated? All right.
Now, it's a long list. So based upon the fact that it's a long list, people are saying, no way USA did all that. Unbelievable. Based on what? Oh, it's a long list. No facts. Nothing real. Nuclear arms race. Russia was reacting. Russia was defensive. Total U.S. instigation by jamming Russia with the bogus anti-ballistic missile abrogation. That disrupted the nuclear balance. What was that based upon? Oh, Iran's going to throw a nuclear missile, which they don't have, at Poland. And they don't have, even though they can't reach Poland. My goodness. Ongoing pipeline. Russia's reacting. Russia's defensive. Total U.S. initiated attack on Russian pipeline. We first tried to block its construction, then we blew the damn thing up. 2008 Russian invasion of Georgia. Russia's reacting. Russia's being defensive. U.S. initiated the threat of NATO expansion to Ukraine and Georgia when Ukraine was screwing Russia on gas sales to Europe. And Georgia was a route for non-Russian gas. Right? I mean, there is no doubt that they packaged the two together for that reason. Jam Russia with a double threat. 2014 Russian annexation of Crimea. Russia was reacting. Russia's defensive. The U.S. supported the Euromaidan group who then overthrew the Ukraine government in a revolution and stole power, increasing the threat of NATO membership for Ukraine. Russia would lose all its military bases in Crimea if that were to happen. 2015 Russian-Syrian intervention. Again, Russia's reacting. Russia's defensive. Russia didn't start that, that civil war. U.S. involvement via U.S. NGOs who supported the Arab Spring by training and directing leaders uh, for the movement. Russia was trying to preserve its last remaining Middle East client state and only Mediterranean naval base. That's all they got left in the Middle East. And they don't even have all that because Syria's broken up into pieces now. 2016 Russian election Interference in the U.S. election. All right. It was either offensive in support of Trump or, and or defensive due to Hillary's Russian bashing. Hilly was is like cold warrior princess, right? Bashing Russia. How she's gonna be tough on Russia. So either way, could have been offensive, could have been defensive. Offensive because Trump is a Putin butt kisser. The US has NGOs inside Russia, meddling with Russian politics. So we're doing the same crap to them. But the U.S. media and politicians never mention that. Never. You think they're going to confess to what we do? Crap. People are such liars. 2018 U.S. sanctions on Nord Stream 2. Russia's reacting. Russia's defensive. U.S. is attacking Russia's gas for bullshit reasons. I showed you how bullshit they are. I'm not going to review all that. Can't review all that detail. 2019 U.S. sanctions on Turk Stream 2 pipeline. Russia's reacting. Russia's defensive. U.S. is attacking Russia's gas for, gas for bullshit reasons. They're just trying to jack Russia again. Get Russia to react. 2020 Russian cyber hacks. And I'm going to say Russia's initiating Russia's offensive here. Right? But you gotta, you gotta keep in mind, U.S. has been hacking Russia since at least 1982. So we do the same to them. The CIA has hacking operations throughout the world. WikiLeaks. 
document. I mean, not just one, thousands and thousands of documents on CIA hacking operations around the world, right? We hack everywhere around the world. I'll be damned if we're not hacking Russia. In my opinion, if the CIA are not hacking Russia in this to the max, you know, if they're not hacking Russia to the maximum extent, they're not doing their job. They hack me. So that everyone can read this. Am I as important as Russia? Am I as big a threat as Russia? Hell no. You hack your biggest threat. They bought they bought away so much time with me. You think they're not hacking Russia? 2021, March, April. Uh Russian military force build up near Ukraine. Russia was reacting. Russia being defensive. I know all the idiots are gonna say, oh, Russia was being aggressive. Bunch of retards. Russia was reacting to the NATO summit on March 23rd, 24th, in which NATO membership for both Ukraine and Georgia, like in 2008, was again being pushed. While Blinky used, or uh, Blinky, I mean, used the NATO states to push U.S. sanctions on Russia's door tree, Stream 2 pipeline for the stated purpose of forcing Russia to send gas back to Ukraine, who has been screwing Russia. And thus threatening European energy security. Ukraine's a problem. Ukraine's a threat to European energy security. And the U.S. wants to force gas back to Ukraine? 2021 Colonial Gasoline Oil Pipeline Hack. I think this uh, is refined uh, products, it's, it sense, as far as I understand. Like gasoline and diesel. Um... All right, was it only a money-making scheme by a hacking group, or was the Russian government involved? If so, were they reacting? Was it payback? What came first, chicken or egg? Who attacked who first, USA or Russia? Now, dark side ransomware was a, uh, the, the cause of the hack, this dark side group. By the reports, FBI has no evidence of Russian government involvement, but... It wouldn't surprise me, since we blew up their Orangor pipeline way back in 1982. We hacked them. And are currently attacking their Nord Stream 2 and Turk Stream 2 pipelines. We're attacking their pipelines. Why don't they attack ours? With sanctions. From what I read, the Nord Stream 2 project appears all, the, uh, all but dead. Alright. So what I'm saying is... I wouldn't doubt they attacked ours. Why? Because we're attacking their damn pipelines. We blew up their pipelines. Right? I mean, it's payback. It's deterrence. So how is it deterrence? You, you, you whack them. You whack the other guy. All right? So he knows he's vulnerable. Don't whack me again, or I'll, I'll whack you again. All right. So what do all the above show? Russia is not initiating. Russia is reacting. Russia is on its heels, being jacked around by the USA. Russia is not on the offensive. Russia is scrambling on the defense, being jammed and threatened by the USA. But the media never shows what we do to instigate. Never. And the masses don't remember jack shit. Russia is not trying to gain anything. Russia is trying not to lose things. Russia is not expanding. Russia is contracting. Russia is being pushed back everywhere. USA and NATO are expanding. Encroaching more and more closer and closer to Russia. The USA is provoking and instigating. Threatening and attacking. The US is jamming Russia with threats and attacks. And when Russia scrambles and reacts defensively, the U.S. politicians and the media point the finger and accuse Russia of naked, rapacious aggression. But the U.S. politicians and media totally ignore all that the USA did to instigate and induce Russia to respond. 
and the American public points a finger as well and denies any wrongdoing on the part of the USA. Why? People don't know Jack for facts. Nothing. People are simply incapable of figuring out what's going on. I swear they can't. This is simple, and they can't figure it out. Get you, get you, gains are simple. They'll never see it. Most of all, people are self-serving, self-deluding liars that believe whatever it is that makes them feel good, right? They, they believe what they want to believe because that's what makes them feel good. And me feel good dominates all else. It's the utter id with inside them. Finally, people always fall for whatever simple, stupid, baseless crap is being passed in a big, dumbass social reality wave. They always fall for it. If it's a big wave, oh, they'll fall for it. I mean, there's only a handful of smart people in the world, I swear. All of the above are classic get you, get you get games in which the target is attacked and provoked to react. And when he does react, he's accused of whatever bullshit lie the provoking liars want to pass. He's an aggressor. He's a villain. He's a threat. He's a liar. He's a false accuser. He's crazy. The masses forever fall, forever fall for get you, get you games because they will never learn. I swear, I've talked to so many times, hundreds, if not even thousands of times, they'll never learn this. Finally, the liar masses will attack this because, one, they are self-serving liars, and this does not make them feel good. So they'll, they'll, they'll attack. Me no feel good. They'll attack. They retain zero facts in intelligent analysis. Nothing. They just see Big list. Unbelievable. I can't believe all that. Well, you know none of the details. And I can't teach it all again. It took forever to teach all it. If I teach it again, you'll retain nothing anyways. The only evidence is that be a big list. So it'd be unbelievable that USA did all that. That, that list be too big. Unbelievable. That's crazy. When they know zero other detailed facts. And that's the sole basis of the reality. And then they make a big wave in social reality. When everyone knows nothing. Nothing retained. So, USA is playing get you, get you games. Jacking Russia around. Then pointing the finger. Then say, oh, Russia's a big threat. Then run into Congress and say, we need this big appropriation, military appropriation bill passed. And then a lot of money's made. And then a lot of money's wasted, which would go to building our economy, making us more competitive, making us more productive. But no, this is a way to control collective resources for Certain privileged people to get rich. It's the same old method.